so sometimes you go to the internet and you want to search for something like a png file for instance a call icon png file and you expect to get something png file related that is a file without a background but then it opens in photoshop and then it surprises you with a background how do you deal with this problem in this video we're going to look at how to solve that in a very simple way and this is coming up hey everybody and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so here in photoshop cc 2019 i have four different png files all of them you're going to look at how any of them is applied so the first one here is an actual png file that is it has no background whatsoever so whatever background that you give it that is what it picks so for instance right one over here so this is the background that it will pick and at the same time we have call icon number two this is actually or this was actually downloaded as a png file but then you realize that it saves here as a jpeg now the third one here is also a png file the file extension is dot png but then it shows that it is indexed and then the last one is of course a png it looks like a png but it is also a gpg or a jpeg so how do you deal with these ones let's take the first one this is an index file so though it has a file extension of png if you decide to move it it moves with the whole background and then you cannot actually do anything to this because it is already indexed so you can't even unlock the background here so when it happens that way all that you need to do is you go to your image here and then you go to mode and then you change the indexed color over here to either rgb or cmyk now i took time to explain the meaning of rgb and cmyk in photoshop so if you want to see that a link will be in the description so this time around the lock is gone but then still it has the background and that brings us to the second issue or the second case so when it happens this way and then you want to get the actual background it is quite simple all that you need to do is you go and pick any of these selection tools over here so i prefer to go with the magic selection tool because it just gives me one time selection so i'll make a selection of all of that and i'm going to hit on delete now you realize that it deletes and it gives you this very tiny transparent backgrounds and you realize from here that it didn't delete this part so you can make a selection over here as well and delete that so you make the selections in all of that and then this time around when we try to move this one you realize that it is not moving with the background alternatively if you have a background that doesn't select all of them at the same time what you have to do is after you select your magic one tool you make a selection you hold shift which brings you the plus sign and then you make another selection and then you can make the selection from here as well so that it selects all of them together and then you can hit on the delete button just like that and now this becomes an actual png file so when you hit on ctrl plus s it is going to save as png now let's move to the second icon over here these two are pretty much the same but then you realize that one here looks very bigger the boxes at the background looks very bigger and this one looks quite simpler and very small so in this case what you do is you just go ahead and unlock the background which is actually going to take us back to the one that we just did like this one and then you apply the same principle so you can select and you hold shift and then you make your selections and then you can go ahead and then delete it's that very simple but then there are instances where you get png files that looks very bigger like this one of course this one is going to select just one time but there are instances where it can't select one time so what you need to do is employ the strategy of the polygonal axo tool or any one of them that is going to get you to kind of take off the background but in most cases you should be able to get something that you can just make a one-time selection like this and then all of them will be gone and then you get your actual png the file this is what we are looking for and then you can use them in your project and just like that you are able to fix all of your png files 
with index problem with the background attached to it to look like something that we have over here and then you realize from here that at this point if you you add any background to it like this one it is going to actually pick the background that you use quite very simple and that's how to solve this png problem very simple in photoshop i hope this video was helpful if it was kindly hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe as well i have also more photoshop tips if you want to check some of them out i'll leave some of them on the end screen and check out the link in the description for more tips and strategies like this thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye